Do you want to learn how to use one of the top global crypto exchanges to make your trading or investing as simple and easy as possible? Don't go anywhere as in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the global crypto exchange Gate.io to make your trading as simple as possible. Before I get started with the video, make sure to sign up with Gate.io using the link in this video description. They are a top global crypto exchange that offers a larger range of different cryptocurrency assets that you can trade. The first thing that we want to do is actually come to the website gate.io. This is the global cryptocurrency exchange. The next thing I like to do is actually come over to this right hand side here on this half moon and I actually click it and what it actually allows for is the dark theme on your trading platform. As when I'm trading I'm looking at the charts for multiple hours I prefer to actually have that black background as it's a lot easier on your eyes then staring at that white background for many hours. The next thing we want to do is come over to this trade tab and then click on it once. We now come over and we see we're populated with everything that we need for trading. On this left hand side we've got a large range of different crypto assets. We've got Bitcoin, we've got Ethereum, we've got Litecoin. Then in this middle part here we've actually got our charting platform where, where we're able to actually come over and draw different trend lines. We're able to add different indicators to the chart. Then on this right hand side here we've actually got the order book. This is the actual orders that are coming in right now. You can see right now we've got an order for 29,155 Bitcoin that's roughly $100,000 worth. Then on this far right hand side we've actually got our trading mechanisms where we can come in on spot isolated, we can buy, we can sell, we can use limit orders, we can use market orders, we can use stop limit orders, we can use a large variety of different trading orders to actually execute our trades. In today's video, the main thing that I actually want to focus on is this charting platform that Gate.io offers in itself. With Gate.io, you're not only able to chart all of your different assets, you can trade directly on the platform. So this is a great platform where not only you can actually chart, you can add indicators, you can understand everything you need to know about your particular asset and then you can go and place orders directly on this right hand side. So the first thing that I want to do now is actually come over. We're going to see that we're on BTC USDT which is the perfect asset. I'm going to go and click this left arrow so I can mainly focus on this part of the chart right here. So right at the top we've got Bitcoin USD. We've got the current price that it's running at $29,153 per Bitcoin. The day's change today is we're down 1.68% on the overall price of Bitcoin. The 24 hour high was 29,651. The 24 hour low was 28,000. Next we've got the 24 hour Bitcoin volume. So a total of 4,500 Bitcoins have actually been traded which is the equivalent in USDT to $133 million. This is very important here because if this number wasn't very high, then we would know that this trading exchange doesn't have a lot of volume. But $133 million in the last 24 hours, that means Gate.io is the perfect exchange to be trading on as there's a lot of volume that you can actually be buying and selling into. The next part of this chart is we can actually change the different time frames. We've got the one minute chart. We can then change to the five minute chart. We then change to the daily chart. We can even change over to a weekly chart. You can see we've got 10 seconds, 30 seconds, minutes, hours, weekly chart. We've got a large different range of actual time frames that you can use the trade. So right up on this point right here. The next thing I actually like to do is actually edit my trading screen. So I right click on this screen, then come over to my settings tab. I'm going to change these body of these candles so they're actually easier to see. You can see we're changing the wicks, the bodies, I'm even going to change the red bars right here. Next, I'm going to come over to this background in the appearance and actually change this to dark black. I'm then going to come over to these vertical grid lines and actually turn them off. 
and turn this horizontal grid line and actually turn it off. So you can see now on the chart, we don't have those horizontal and vertical grid lines. It's a nice, clean, easy to view chart. The next thing that we've got is right here, we can change our actual view to bars, candles, hollow candles, I can actually candles. I prefer using trading candles. The next thing that we can do is actually come and add technical indicators. I personally love trading the exponential moving average. You can see it's now populated on this chart. We then come over a double, double click on this chart. I like the 20 exponential moving average. I like having my line orange. I'm also going to make the line thicker so it's easier for you to see on the chart. The next part of this is actually coming to this left hand side here, which is actually all the trading tools that gate IO offers. You can click on this little arrow here to actually expand out and you can see we can get a dot or we could get a cross. I personally like the crosses. The reason being is it comes up with these horizontal and vertical grid lines. Down in the bottom, I can see which day that I'm trading and on the right hand side, I'm able to actually see exactly what price my my cursor is actually pointing at. The next, we've got trend lines. You can see we've got trend lines, arrows, rays, extended lines, trend angles. We've got horizontal lines where we can actually come onto the chart and begin drawing horizontal lines. We can even double click on the line and actually create it thicker. We can change it to white. You can come over and actually do anything that you like. So we've even got horizontal lines. I personally love using trend lines. As you would know, I'm actually trading Bitcoin right now using a trend line trading strategy where we actually come over, use this trend line and actually extend it up all the way through here and then double click on the line. I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna make it a bit thicker for you so it's easier to see. And right now I'm actually trading Bitcoin using this trend line trading strategy where if Bitcoin is to continue holding above this trend line, then I'm going to continue looking for longs. But if we are to get a breakout below this trend line, then I will be looking for shorts. So overall, we've now got trend lines, we've got arrows, we've got a lot of different regression channels, we've got cross lines, vertical lines, we can even add different vertical lines to our chart as you can see here. Next thing that we've got is we can even come over and we've got these different tools. We've got Fibonacci tools, Fibonacci trend based tools. We've got inside pitchforks. We've got Fib channels. You can see there's a large range of different trading tools that you can actually use. I really like using the Fibonacci retracement tool. We actually drag it from the bottom to the top and you can see that we're getting different price populating 0382. 0.5, 618, 786 level. We can even come and double click on this and we can actually turn some of these off. Say I don't like this 7786. I don't want this 1618. I don't want this 13. I don't want this 0.382. You can see how we can actually modify it. Now we've only got the 0 0.382, 0 0.5 and 618 levels. There's a lot of customization that it actually offers for you on the chart. Now let's get rid of that on the chart and actually come in and have a look at some of the next tools that we've got. We've got a lot of different Fibonacci tools. Next, we come down, we can actually, we've got brushes where I can perfectly draw on the chart. You can see this. Let's actually double click on this. Let's actually make this white and make it a little bit thicker so it's easier for you to see. So we'll just delete that off our chart right now. And we come over and use our brush. You can see how I can just draw on the chart. I can draw continuation of the trend. I can circle, circle these highs. It's just very easy to use this charting platform because I can make all my charting analysis that I need to look on this left hand side. Then I come over to this right hand side and then I purchase five Bitcoin. Yes, I'm ready to buy. We're right near this exponential moving average. Yes, it's buy five Bitcoin at a total of $145,000. So it just makes it really easy to chart on this left hand side. Once you've got all your assets, everything's ready, everything's lined up, your charts are lined up, you can then come over to the right and then execute your trade. So we've got the brush, we've got highlighter, we've got rectangles, circles, we've got curves, we've got triangles, we've got arcs. Come over to uh, rectangles here. Let's actually put some lines of support and resistance. I've got some resistance up here that I really wanna point out on the chart. We've got some support down here that I really wanna point out on the chart. So you can easily use these tools to your trading benefit. And if you actually hover your cursor over these right hand side arrows here, it says cursors here. Then we got trend line tools. Then we've got Garn and Fibonacci tools. And then we've got geometric shapes. We've then got annotation tools. We've then got patterns. 
prediction and measurement tools. We've got icons, we've got measure, we've got zoom in. Now we come over to this text annotation. You can see we've got different balloons where you can basically put arrows on the chart. You can put a flag on the chart, put different price labels. I personally love putting text on the chart and just putting short, this is an area I'm looking to get short in the market and we can just put this where we want it. We can move it around, we can double click on it, we can change the color, we can change the size, we can move it up here, we can move it down here, we can just delete it if we don't need it anymore. So it's very easy to use. All these different ones, we've even got price labels where you can put it here and you can see we change it along. It's actually telling you the different prices as we're moving it along. So it's very easy to just populate your chart with what you need to see. The next part here, we've got different patterns. So we've got the X, A, B, C, D pattern. We've got cipher patterns, A, B, C, D pattern. We've got triangle patterns. We've got the Elliott wave where we go one, two, three, four, and a five. So we've got different trading tools depending on what you personally use. You need to use the trading tools that benefit you most. I personally used to use trading tool, the Elliott impulse wave, but I don't currently use it at this current point. I've actually simplified my trading so it's actually easier for me to trade and I'm actually using less tools, but I know a lot of people that trade using the Elliott Impulse Wave system. You just need to find the particular tools that work for you in your trading system and stick to them and be consistent with those trading. Next, we've got prediction and measurement tools. We've got long and short positions, which is one of my favorite tools to actually use because you can use this on the chart and you can see it actually populates. You can move it to where your entry was, you you can put it to where your profit target is going to be and you can move to where your stop is going to be and you can see all right i'm going to have a six percent stop loss i'm going to go for a gain of 25 percent and my overall overall risk to reward ratio is four so it's really easy to actually set up trades using this long and short system so then we can actually set this up using the short position where we have a stop up here and now we're going for a profit target down here you can see we've got a two to one risk to reward ratio we actually reduce this risk now we've got close to a four uh, four to one risk to reward ratio. So you can see this is how I actually, when I'm about to take my orders into the market along or short, I'm actually setting up my trade exactly like this because I'm putting exactly where my stop would be in the market, putting exactly where my entry is, and I'm putting exactly where my exit is looking to be in the market. And it's a visual way of actually understanding my trade. I'm understanding, yes, this is my entry. Yes, this is my stop. And yes, this is my profit target in the market. So these trading tools are extremely great to be using, offered all for free with Gate.io. The next trading tool that we have is these icons down here. You can see we can put different arrows on the chart. We can actually come over, put a down arrow, put a sideways arrow. We can even come and put smiley faces. We can come and put an up. Uh, a thumbs up, a thumbs down. So you can see we've got a lot of different icons. It's just how you want to actually interpret your chart. If you want to particularly add pluses, minuses, smiley faces, you've got trucks, dollar signs, anchors. So there's a lot of different actually icons that you can use putting bells on the chart so you can know that here when we get to this particular price, that's a, a bell or that's a notification that I want to be having. So a lot of, lot of potential right here with these different trading tools. Next is one of my favorite trading tools is actually this measure tool right here. So we can actually measure the percentage away from our current price point. So we can measure if Bitcoin right now is currently at this $29,000 level and we're about to drop to this $20,000 level, what percentage drop is that? You can see that's a 30.99% drop. Or if we're able to go up to 36,000, what percentage gain is that? That's a 24% gain. One also benefit of this is you're able to actually use it as a measuring tool, not only to measure the price gain on this, because you can see we've got a 25% gain, but you can see we're also looking at these bars. We've got eight bars since we're on the weekly chart. It actually accumulates to 56 days. So you're able to measure not only the price change, but also the date change, you're able to measure over how long was all this price taking from this bottom all the way here, all the way to our current price. How long is that taken? You can see 38 bars at weekly chart. That's 266 days it has taken 
from this bottom to our current price point. So it's a really fantastic tool that I use literally every single day in the market. The next setting that you're able to toggle is this one here, which is called stay in drawing mode. So if we come over here and actually use the brush, once I'm actually finished with the brush, you can see that I can't continue drawing with it. But if we actually come down here and click on stay in drawing mode, use this brush, look what happens. I can continuously use the brush, use the brush, use the brush until I right click on the chart and then the brush is actually disabled. So you can see, I actually really like this tool to stay in drawing mode because a lot of the time I'll be circling here, circling in this area, circling in this area, rather than having to click it each and every time, it just stays in drawing mode for me. The next thing we have here is actually to remove all drawing tools. You can see that we can continuously actually draw on the chart. We can have different Fibonacci, different Elliott wave, and we can actually click here and see everything will just be sort of taken away from the chart. It's not actually deleted. You're able to just click that button again and add it all back in. Obviously down here, you can actually delete everything. You click on this button and it's gonna remove all of your drawings all at once. And the last thing down here is actually the show object tree, which is also very useful. When you click on it, you show object tree. It's basically showing you all the things that are currently on your chart. Right now you've got BTC USDT spot. See what happens when we actual close that away. You can see that that's the actual chart price right here. Then we've got the moving average exponential. See what happens when I click on this eye? You can see that the moving average then gets taken away from the chart and I can just simply add it back. Then we've also got the volume right at the bottom of this chart here. Then we can take it away. It's not visible and then simply just add it back. So this object tree is a very, very fantastic tool. Overall, Gate.io is a fantastic crypto exchange. Not only are you able to buy and sell a large range of different cryptocurrencies, you're able to use their charting software to your benefit. So you can come in, do your own charting analysis on all these different coins that you can find. And then you can come over to this right hand side and actually place your bets into the market. Make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on for future videos. If you haven't already, make sure to check out this video description so you can sign up with Gate.io.